Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a super simple radio flow filter or radio flow shelter using a five gallon bucket. So here is the radio flow filter. It is made out of a five gallon Home Depot bucket. It is very simple to make. I won't be, I won't, don't have videos on how to drill everything and install everything. This is just showing you it already built since this one's been built already. Otherwise, and also I'm not gonna have it up and running since I don't need it personally. I have my own radio flow filters set up on my aquaponic system right over there. Otherwise, the general layout of it is you're gonna have two holes. These are one inch bulk, one inch uni seals that you have to put in here. You don't necessarily need to use silicone, but this one was used with silicone. You have them both, both sides, one at the top and one all the way at the bottom. And then on the inside, the top one is just gonna come out right here. And the bottom ones are gonna come up right over there. And then the, that's, I mean, that's the general backbone of it. And then to make it into a radial flow filter, you'll have to take a lid like so. You just have a bolt with a washer on this side and then a little pot on this side with another bolt and a washer. And that's giving the radial flow filter effect. So as you stick it on here, you can have the water coming in either side. But basically, if, for example, if we have the water coming in through the bottom, the water is going to come up through here, come up here. And then because of the pot over there, the water has to go back down and before and then it allows it to settle down and then it has to move back up so same thing on this side if we had the water coming over here the water is entering through this side it has to settle down and then move back up and then out the back into the aquaponic system upon itself so a very simple design easy to set up literally only two holes you got to drill just one over here one over there and you can have it plumbed in either direction as long as you have it in that general setup where you have a top output or top inputs and then a top I mean a bottom output or bottom input with that standpipe going on there so you got a 90 on there this is all one inch plumbing going up into here so fairly simple also another thing to take into account with these settling tanks is that they basically work off of retention time so which is the amount of time that water spends in the bucket to be able to settle out so having this radial or whatever you call this thing, the, the, five, the bucket on, I mean the pot on there allows the water to settle better. But still on a five gallon bucket like this, you don't really want to go over a 170 gallon per hour pump. Otherwise the water is going to be moving too fast through the system. And then you won't be able to capture as much gunk as you would like to be able to filter, filter out that out. So you can either hook this up with a pump or you can just have it gravity fed from your aquaponics fish tank or whatnot it depends how you're setting it up as a, but as i mentioned you can either have it come in through the bottom or in through the top in terms of the water either way doesn't matter otherwise that is pretty much a simple aquaponics radial flow filter out of a five gallon bucket i mean you can use this on a pond or whatnot if you wanted super simple to make doesn't make take much time i will probably make another video on one of these on how to build it just through the steps of drilling the holes and so forth when i do want to do it on another bucket otherwise this one was already pre-built so i'm just showing you how it's set up fairly simple very easy to do doesn't take much time and then you should be done pretty quickly well that pretty much sums up this video if you do have a specific filter that you want me to show you how to build or go through the process of building it just leave it in the comments and i can try to get to those when i can otherwise i appreciate the support and thank you for watching